After more than a decade, the Google Lunar X Prize will go unclaimed. I'm Zach, this is Zach DTV, the place for interesting news from around the net. I think we need to take a look at this. The Google Lunar X Prize was a competition hosted by X Prize and funded by Google. The goal of this competition was to place a lander on the moon's surface. You were supposed to then have the lander travel 500 meters and then transmit back a high def image or video from the moon's surface. This competition was started back in September of 2007 and had an original deadline in 2012. So you can't say Google didn't stick it out. They kept putting up the prize money, kept putting up the prize money, putting extensions on it, all the way up to the launch had to happen in 2017. Unfortunately, no one was ready to launch in 2017. So they gave it one final extension until March 31st of this year, 2018. And according to representatives from XPRIZE, after close consultation with our five finalist Google Lunar XPRIZE teams over the past several months, we've concluded that no team will make a launch attempt to reach the moon by the March 31st, 2018 deadline. This literal moonshot is hard. And while we did expect a winner by now, due to the difficulties of fundraising, technical and regulatory challenges, the grand prize of the $30 million Google Lunar X Prize will go unclaimed. I mean, come on, who would have thought getting to the moon was hard? Now, even though the competition is done, there have still been some great advances made towards getting to the moon. So now let's take a minute to look at these five teams that were finalists and see what they had to offer towards going to the moon and where they stand now. Let's start off with Spacel or Space IL. I'm not sure. Their offering to the moon race was this lander. And even though the X Prize is off the table, they already started taking a different path. They were using this project to bring together what they called the Apollo effect and basically bring the nation of Israel together to launch a craft, the first Israeli craft, into space and land it on the moon. It's brought together a lot of people. They work with educators and schools to help influence children to go into the sciences. And they've been able to drum up millions of dollars towards the exploration of space. So even though they won't win, it does seem like some good has come out of it for them. For my next entry, let's look at the guys from the United States. This is Moon Express. While they were shooting for the X Prize, Moon Express started edging towards the commercialization of moon flight. Their plan included multiple landers going to the moon. And in fact, they even have plans to send samples of moon rocks back to Earth. And their entry was so promising that they even won two milestone prizes. That was the landing prize and the imaging prize. That totaled out to $1.25 million of this $30 million jackpot. So while the grand prize might be gone, their technology is sound and they are going to keep on keeping on. The next group is an international team called Synergy Moon. They're a team comprised of members from all six continents trying to get a lander to the moon's surface. And here's the lander they had to offer. Unfortunately with them, it doesn't seem like they won any of the X prizes. And checking out their website, looking around today, I wasn't able to find any future plans or any continuing work. The last update I found on their website was from 2016. So they might have dropped out. They had a confirmed launch for 2017, but they didn't make it. And I don't know where they're at or what they're going to be doing. Next up is Team Indus. This is a team completely from India and the winners of the milestone prize for landing. They won a million dollars of this already. Team Indus's approach was twofold. They were gonna use the polar satellite launch vehicle to put their spacecraft into orbit around the moon. Then the lander would land on the surface and release its little rover to complete the 500 meter trek. To me, that sounds like it was a pretty sound idea and had a lot of potential to work. And they are yet another team that's not going to give up on this. They have a launch date planned for late 2018 and they are going to put their lander on the moon and drive their rover around. And this will be the first mission to the moon where they actually land on it. So good luck to you guys. And finally, there's Team Hakuto from Japan. Team Hakuto did win a mobility prize for $500,000. Team Hakuto's design was to make the lightest and smallest rover they possibly could. And they achieved this with a rover that weighs in at only four kilograms. So it's cheap to send up. They also don't have their own launch platform. So they're gonna ride share with Team Indus. Now they are backed by iSpace Incorporated, which wants to privately mine the moon for resources. So in the long run, this program's not going anywhere. They're gonna keep on keeping on. So from the looks of it, at least four out of the five teams are going to keep trying to raise funds 
and keep trying to shoot for the moon. Team Synergy Moon, I really don't know what they're doing, but hopefully all this work won't be for nothing. And I think something else we should look at too is the positive effect of the Google X Prize. These teams have raised more than $300 million towards lunar exploration. And that includes a funding investment of $90 million for one of the teams. They've also helped establish the first privately owned space companies in India, Malaysia, Israel, and Hungary. So who can even tell how many jobs were created by these companies. Thousands of students worldwide were inspired to go into the sciences as a field of study. There's even been some federal regulatory changes made, with Moon Express being the first company ever to receive a permit to land on the moon. And even though nobody won in the long run, they did hand out $6 million in prize money for these different teams. There's been a lot of technological advancement, and I think we'll see the long-term effects of this X Prize for years to come. And while the representative for XPRIZE did say they thought they would have a winner by now, they did also say this, It's incredibly difficult to land on the moon. If every XPRIZE competition we launch has a winner, we are not being audacious enough. And we will continue to launch competitions that are literal or figurative moonshots, pushing the boundary of what's possible. We are inspired by the progress of the Google Lunar XPRIZE team and will continue to support their journey one way or another, and we'll be there to help shine the spotlight on them when they achieve that momentous goal. So what do you think? Which one of these teams has the best shot at getting to the moon first? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you know when I upload something new. I'm here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I hope to see you here again soon. And until next time, have fun and be safe.